The Tomorrow branch of the Inspiration Tree provides tools that affect the future. Whether to set yourself behind in gold later to finish a spike now, or to boost your lane survivability at key moments. In this video, I'll be talking about Futures Market, Minion Dematerializer, and Biscuit Delivery, including their use cases and when you'd want to take them. The first rune is Futures Market. You can enter debt by buying items after 2 minutes, starting at 150 gold and increasing by 5 gold every minute. However, for each time you leave the shop on negative gold, you'll be charged a 50 gold lending fee. This is a niche rune and probably one of the hardest runes to use properly. Champions that have important damaging item spikes such as Infinity Edge, Cosmic Drive, or Sunfire Aegis will benefit most from this rune. Even though the gold per minute ramps up over time, Fuge's Market is most potent in the early game. Utilizing the loan to get a gold lead on your lane opponent can help you snowball and offset the loan's cost. Finally, some supports might want to take it to finish their boots or mythic item faster as they have slower gold generation compared to other roles. Overall, if you often find that you're slightly short of completing an important item in lane or right before a fight, then Futures Market might help you fill in the gaps. The next rune is Minion Dematerializer. Start the game with 3 Minion Dematerializers that kill and absorb lane minions after a short delay. Absorbing a minion increases your damage by 6% against that type of minion permanently, but further uses on the same type of minion only give a 3% boost. Minion Dematerializer starts the game on a 3 minute cooldown. This is another niche rune for champions where wave management is very important. Minion Dematerializer can help you set up a slow push in the early game and help you instantly clear waves in the mid game. Another use for Minion Dematerializer is on Spoils of War support item supports such as Leona, Alistar, or Set into hard Poco matchups like Brand, Xerath, or Caitlyn. Being able to secure 3 cannon minions in the early game without losing any health can allow you to set up more all-in opportunities for you and your ADC. Overall, if your champion has a strong wave management theme as a mid laner, or you're a melee support going into some heavy poke, then Minion Dematerializer is a very strong rune. The last rune is Biscuit Delivery. At 2, 4, and 6 minutes into the game, get a total biscuit of everlasting will. Biscuits restore 10% of your missing HP and mana, as well as permanently boosting your max mana by 50. Manaless champions restore 12% missing HP instead. This is a general use rune that can boost any champion's lane survivability. As Biscuit Delivery restores percent missing HP and mana, it is best used on champions that want to take aggressive trades in order to get more value from Biscuits and build a health advantage. Additionally, when combined with Time Warp Tonic and Corrupting Potion, the Biscuits can let you turn on overconfident opponents by instantly restoring 5% missing HP and mana. Overall, if you trade off in lane, take Time Warp Tonic, or into a hard lane matchup, or just don't like the other option in the Inspiration Tree, then Biscuit Delivery is a powerful laning tool. To conclude, Futures Market helps champions reach important spikes before their opponents, Minion Dematerializer allows mages to clear waves easier in the mid game or let melee support safely secure cannon minions, and Biscuit Delivery provides a huge amount of in lane sustain. Thank you for watching.